Yeah. So I'm having a chat with Dream State. How are you guys? Hi there, yeah, good, thanks. How are you? Not too bad. You're here at 2000 Trees. Back again. How does it feel to be back? Nervous, but I'm quite excited. <laughs> Trees is always a good time. Yes, absolutely. And hopefully you get to play your new single, Chin Up Princess. Tell us a bit about the track for those who haven't heard it yet. It's basically, I, re I wrote it in my early teens. Kind of think of like the film Mean Girls. Kind of got that vibe to it. <laughs> It's about a nasty pasty who loses everything based on her own downfalls of toxic habits. But it's um, it's been really exciting to see it evolve with Dream State and how it's come to life. And obviously we got to record with Dan Weller, which was a bucket list moment for myself. So yeah, just really grateful and uh, really happy with the end product. I think it sounds... it slaps. Yeah, my favourite song so far. Yeah, it's so good. far. <laughs> and does this mean we're now building up towards another record, another EP? Maybe, maybe not. So wait and see, wait and see. Can't reveal any details yet, but... Um, yeah. yeah. Have, you, have you kind of started writing then for Oh yeah, for always the writing, yeah. always writing, yeah. <coughs> yeah, good. And uh, this festival here today kind of pretty much is the start of a nice, big, busy rest of the year. I bet you can't wait to be, uh, well, fairly busy for the rest of the year. Yeah, nice. No, um, I mean, Trees has always been like a festival of playing. I, I come even when we're not playing, so um, yeah, to play here is just, uh, it's been very grateful. And uh, yeah, start to a busy. We've got a couple more festivals coming up this month. Um, and then we're touring Europe at the end of the year, November. So that'll be sick. Yep. Um, I think that's it at the moment. <laughs> yeah, good. And uh, I'll just talk a little bit about the writing and the writing of your music. So, how do tracks tend to start off? for you guys um, so you just write lyrics first like on your phone or whatever yeah, don't you I've always got like lyrics in my thing Alex the, Alex, Alex the instrumental man he can pretty much play every instrument that we have so he like lays down the instrumental and I've heard the track and I've been like oh can I try this on it like a melody and lyrics and then it's just that's how the first EP was built New Dream State <laughs> a lot of remote working a lot of like, remote working yeah. I've been in your house you've been at mine yeah it's just I've just been really fortunate that the songs he presented to me, I've just been able to put like ideas I've had down or we work collectively as a team and like they just come together really naturally. So yeah. he makes my job way easier when his <laughs> songs are sick. Like even without my vocals on, he could have them as bangers. So makes my job easier. Yeah. yeah. And once you've got them kind of demo stage, how do they then go from a demo to a finished track when you step foot into the studio. Uh, Pre-prod, pre yeah. So with the latest single, um, yeah, we went to Dan for um, did some pre-prod with him, and he worked his magic on the songs. To, um, structurally, the songs pretty much stayed the same, but he just put a little bit more extra layers and stuff, and yeah, which really yeah. gave him just more life, more energy. Yeah. And Dream State as a band have been around for many years but yes. there was kind of like a refresh what what was that refresh and how have you kind of developed dream state into what it is now from what it was um yeah so it was me uh brought in jesse as a new singer and then um tom and jake as well um i think the music was naturally evolving anyway it's kind of i feel like the old songs i had written um i guess they were more just right from a different place at the time, whereas during COVID, it was quite angry and like just wanted to like get out and do stuff. So I think I kind of came in the music where it's a bit more riffier now and um, more in your face, I guess, yeah. than before, more edgy. And what was the reason behind keeping it dream state rather than starting afresh, I guess? 10 years of your life, right? so <laughs> yeah. why, why not? It's been, the OG. This has been my baby for yeah. years, so uh, yeah. I, don't know, I just wasn't ready to give up. And um, it was my girlfriend, um, she said to me like, you may as well give it a go because you'll just you might look back and regret not taking the chance and you know if it doesn't if it doesn't work out you can always say oh I, I gave it a go and if it didn't work out fine if it does work out then happy days yeah yeah absolutely and uh, yeah well guys it's been great having a, a chat and a catch up thank you for having so, us yeah, thank, you. thank you very much cheers